Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. Uh, today I'm going to do CLF, Cliff, uh, the ticker symbol CLF, so don't get that confused. Uh, this company has been around since 1847, and the CEO, as you can see here, I got a photo of him. He's over had over 30 years experience, so this company is going to look pretty good in 2019 and going into 2020, I think. Uh, I'd just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get some more videos, and like this video. Let's get right into it. So we got some target prices here. All right, we got the low at $5 here. And the average rate, which is pretty much the medium, is around $11. And we're not even at $11 yet, so that's good. And the high is $14. And I've also read some other things that some people think the stock's worth about $40 or even up, up past that. So that's really high. All right, as you can see here, the short ratio is 15%, which means nobody's going to be really wanting to short this stock. So that's good. They probably think it's going to go up. Shares float really high, 297 million. So that's that's up there. It's not going to move hard. If it's going to move, it's going to move very slowly. So you don't have to worry about if it's going to start tanking, you're going to lose money. But if it goes up, it's going to take a while to make some money. So it's going to be a longer swing trade than normal. So like I was saying, the CEO right here has more than 30 years experience in the metals and the mining side of the industry. So the company is in really good hands. So this article just came out on January 8th. Cleveland Cliffs has been a remarkable turnaround story that doesn't seem to be very fully recognized yet by the investors. So not too many people know about this stock and that it's been on an uptrend. Had a pullback, but it's been on an uptrend and the future is looking pretty good for it. That's what they're that's what they're saying. Here's Cliffs company website right here. North American Steel Producers. And here's some of the employees that they have here. So this is old news, but it's stuff that's going to be happening this year. The company invested $700 million to build the world's most modern and efficient iron-making plants. That's a lot of money. And startup of the plant is expected to start in the summer of 2020. So this might even be a pretty good investment just to put money into and just hold it. And maybe the people are right that the price target really is around $40. We'll find out. So here's a plant that they're in the process of making. And this plant will extend Cliff's market reach toward EAF steelmakers and if you don't know what EAF is because I didn't know what it was I had to look it up on Google and it's electric arc furnaces so this this little picture over here you can see you remember a Terminator 2 when the his handle was going down that's kind of what it reminds me of so the stock has been through three splits nothing severe they were all two for one so it's, it's not even that bad they had it in 2005, 2006, and 2008. So they haven't had one in a long time. So, so that's a good sign. All right, so I got the chart pulled up here. This is the 180-day four-hour chart. And you can tell it's been, it's been making some good runs. has a high of 13. And then once it hit that, it's just been kind of on a slow bleed off. But this is from, this is from when the market was, was, was doing bad uh, back in October and everything was tanking. But it's starting to come back up right here. And it has, I got a resistance line at 9, about 960. It's going to have to bust through. So right now, what we have to worry about here is coming up to the uh, 200 period. So this is going to be the next resistance that it has to break through. So I'm going to, I'm going to watch this and see, see if it can break through that. But we might have a golden cross starting to happen here. So maybe you want to get in it before that actually happens. All right, I just want to pull up the spy right here because it's kind of, it's kind of a similar kind of a chart. So I got some resistance here for the SPY, and it's, it's getting pretty close to it, but it has a little bit of room here to run. But once it hits this resistance, I have a gut feeling that it's going to drop even harder than it dropped before. And I'm not too sure that this is going to be too good for this stock. Yeah, so like I was saying, just watch, watch your resistance on this one because you want to be very careful. But uh, we have some room to play, so it's going to be a good, like a really good swing trade. Just, just watch the resistance on it, and I think you're going to be all set. Just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and like the video, and I am out.